It's day two of heat wave conditions for parts of South Africa. So how can you beat the heat? Remember to stay hydrated and drink enough water. Try and avoid direct sunlight during the hottest time of the day. And please do not leave any kids or pets unattended in a hot car. So let's see how high will the mercury soar on Thursday. This week, a dominating high pressure system sits over northern South Africa, acting as a heat cap. Therefore, the Weather Service has issued the first heat wave advisory for the season over Gauteng, parts of northwest, the Free State, as well as northern KwaZulu Natal and the high faults of Mpumalanga. It will continue up until at least Friday, and for some areas, I'm sure the heat wave will continue into the weekend. Our wind map is showing windy conditions the afternoon here in parts of the Northern Cape as well as the Korea and the Eastern Cape. Due to the hot, dry and windy weather, the weather service warning against runaway fires with an onshore flow bringing in some rain for the southern coastline. We still have a trough extending over the west, therefore a band of cloud expected here over the Northern Cape into the Eastern Cape. Underneath that band, isolated showers likely but due to high instability values, thunderstorms expected here in parts of the Eastern Cape and later moving into KwaZulu Natal. That onshore flow will bring in rain for the southern coastline and a coastal low will yet again bring a few light showers for the Western Cape. It's a mostly cloudy to partly cloudy day in the Western Cape, still quite chilly along the coast. That coastal low is sitting here in the Atlantic Ocean, pushing in some moisture, therefore a quick shower likely over the Boerland and yet again a few isolated thunderstorms also possible. This onshore flow pushing in cold and rainy conditions for the southern coastline. It's going to be cool the afternoon with temperatures only around 20 degrees, but extremely hot in Beaufort West as well as the interior of the Eastern Cape. We've got this area of convergence and due to the heat as well as enough moisture, a few heat-induced thunderstorms likely in the vicinity of Kumani, Kua, Matatial, as well as Mutata, an onshore flow expected in East London to bring in light showers. Later, a few thunderstorms also likely in Kokstad. Otherwise, a mainly sunny and warm to very warm day for Kuzulu Natal, extremely hot here in Peter Marisburg, as well as the northern areas during day two of heat wave conditions. The heat wave will also continue to bake the high felt of Mpumalanga, temperatures soaring to 30 degrees and upper 30s in parts of the low fell. It's also going to be a sunny and uncomfortably hot day on Thursday for Limpopo with maximum temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. Temperatures will quickly soar above 30 degrees in northwest on Thursday, 34 in Maiking, soaring to 37 in Freiburg and peaking at 38 in Tuang, the weather service warning against runaway fires over the western interior. Moving to the northern Cape where we've got that band of cloud stretching over the interior, a few light showers underneath that band with an onshore flow for Alexander Bay, extremely hot in Uppington, Postmasburg and Kimberley, the weather service warning against runaway fires. It's also day two of heat wave conditions for parts of the free state, a baking Bloemfontein with a half 36 degrees as well as in Balcom. Another sunny and hot day ahead for Halting. Heat wave conditions will continue up until at least Friday, but I'm saying into the weekend with maximums above 30. Into Friday, an onshore flow keeping things cool and wet along the southern coastline with more light rain and heat wave conditions will also continue to bake northeastern South Africa. And then into Saturday, remaining cool and cloudy as well as more rain over the southern areas of South Africa. And I would say heat wave conditions will be extended into Saturday for parts of Northwest Halting as well as the Free State. Well, that's all from me. Stay hydrated, everyone, and we'll see you again tomorrow.